Hello and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how easy it is to use random data in K6 load tests. As a brief context, in the real projects, there are moments when an API endpoint requires unique values on its request body because there might be some unique value constraints in the database and so on. Let's think about a user registration process where we cannot have multiple users registered with the same email or username address. For this use case, we are going to implement in our test some random data. I will be using this K6 test application that contains a post endpoint for user registration and as you can see, the request body implies unique values for username and email properties. Happily, K6 provides utility functions that we can use out of the box to generate random numbers between a given interval, some random strings, items and so on. We can simply google K6 random data and here we have the options that I told you about earlier random number between interval random item string and so on for demo purpose here we have a k6 script file that we created in the previous step-by-step -step tutorial that you can find attached in the description below. We are using the same post endpoint for user registration. Here is the request body with the username and the email that we need to generate random data for. In my case, I will be using random string. From this example, I'm going to extract this import step and paste it in my script. And here we have random first name as a constant that calls this random string that accepts the number of characters as argument. I am copy and paste it in my script. This would be random email and one more time for random username. Of course you could use the same random value for both username and email. So let's imagine that we want random email with 15 characters plus at gmail.com and random name, name might be a string of 20 characters. Okay, let's use these constants in our request body, a random user and random email. Simple, isn't it? So this is our script. Import random string and then simply call it in the constants. So we have the request body, parameters and HTTP POST request. Save the file, open up the terminal and let's see what happens. K6 run create underline users dot JS. Test execution, test metrics, all these topics 
have been already covered in the previous tutorial. Great, the execution has completed and our test script passed. 100% checks, average uh, request duration and zero request failed. Great, simple, isn't it? Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and happy testing.